Mr. McGee, don't make me angry. You wouldn't like me when I'm angry. Fight, fight, fight! Fight, fight, fight! Fight, fight, fight! Oi, oi, guys, welcome back to another Budget Guitar Show. Now, today it's the continuing story of the Max Music Gig Kit debacle. You will not believe what happens in this video. So, if you don't know or you haven't watched the video, which I will link up here, I bought a Max Music Guitar Gig Pack. Now, these are marketed at beginners. But it had that many issues that a beginner would pick it up, not know what to do to fix the guitar to make it playable, and they would just put it down and that would be it. We, we could be missing out on some real talent out there because they don't want to play this guitar because of all its problems. So, I then got in contact with Electro Market, the company that I bought it from, also trading as Destiny Entertainment. And I said, look, this has issues. I know it's for beginners, but beginners are not really going to do anything with this guitar. If you want to see the full story, check the video out. They said, okay, no problem. If you pay a little bit more, you can upgrade to a better guitar. So I did. I chose the Flying V with the Floyd Rose. Yeah, that turned up when they stated it would. And the bridge, the bridge popped off. The little screws in the corner of the bridge that are supposed to hold it down when you're using the whammy. The bridge popped out, 
the strings broke, the tuners were so tough and hard you could not move them. And some of them were missing turns. Okay, well, before I box this up and uh, get ready for yet another replacement, let me just show you a couple of things. Now, this is exactly how the box came. As you can see, it looks like somebody has kicked it. Taking a look at the guitar itself, as you can see right here, the string tension and the bridge tension were not very good. This is the third set of strings that have been on this guitar and I haven't even played it yet. And it is these tuners here which are very stiff and they are indeed missing out on turns so there's something wrong with those and just for reference I just want to show you how the guitar was packed so you can see that big massive hole there where it looks like it's been kicked and if I open the box this is how the guitar is indeed packed inside. As you can see there is very mineral protection for the guitar itself so anything could have happened. So of course I decided that one's going back. Well, they said we'll send you another one. Third time's a charm I thought and I wanted to be fair to the company. So what happened when the third one was delivered? Let's take a look at me unboxing it. Now I filmed this video because I wanted everybody to see what I got from this company. And in case there's any problems, I have the whole process documented. So let's take a look at that first. So as you can see the state of the box, it was absolutely terrible it looked like it had been kicked about messed about with so you know this is why i wanted to get it on camera so uh i just started by cutting some of this tape on now the other boxes did come very very bad with uh holes looked like they'd been kicked but this one took the biscuit it looked like people had been playing past the parcel with their feet with it you know so could this be on ups or could this be on the actual electro market company or their warehouse operatives? I don't know, but I'm sure we're going to see in a moment when this gets open. The state of it is terrible. Now, bearing in mind, inside here should be an amp, all of your Allen wrenches, a lead, a strap, picks, um, gig bag, loads of things should be inside this. So. Let's take a look at what we've got and will the guitar be in one piece? So here we go, getting the box open, one more bit of tape to get off. Something isn't right here, I've noticed. So we have the guitar, but let's check for the other stuff. No, nope, nothing in there, as you can see. We have the gig bag. So, gig bag, no amp, and I don't know what the hell this is that I've got, but they look like they are filters for Spanish taps. As you can see right here, I've got no idea what those are for. There's certainly nothing to do with guitar. So here is the dust cover, as I call it. Nothing else in the box. So let's take a quick look at the guitar. Now, as I'm voiceovering this, <laughs> you're not going to believe this. So I've, I've had one guitar which had issues. That got sent back. 
I had the other Flying V which had issues and that one was sent back and here comes this one. <laughs> You're not going to bloody believe this. You know, if, if I didn't laugh, then I wouldn't cope because there is damage right there, as you can see, because there's no packaging to keep it safe. There's damage on the headstock there. There's damage just on the top horn as well. And of course, there's no Allen keys in this box uh, or no whammy bar to do anything to it, to get it to be playable. I mean, this really is a piece of shit from that company. Now, I wouldn't have so much minded if all the other stuff was in the box. This is what I've paid £140 for. So, what do you make to that? That was absolute crap, wasn't it? You know, as I said in that voiceover, if I didn't laugh, then I'd cry, you know? Three times I've tried to get a decent guitar out of this company for the money that they are, you know, charging for these things. And that last one, you know, no amp, no Allen keys, nothing. And where the hell did those tap filters come from? I mean, I just don't. So I got in contact with them. One final time. Hello, it's Johnny here again. Hello, Johnny. Hello, um, I've just received um, the replacement guitar, and um, yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I'm sorry I have to say this, mate, but um, is somebody taking the mic? What, what seems to be the problem there, sir? Right, well, first off, the box that, that it's arrived in looks like um well it's got tape all over it it looks like somebody's already opened it messed with it it's completely ripped and then when i opened it up there's no amp in there there's no whammy bar lead um no cable um you know all the things that should be with it the gig bag is in there uh there is what is in a packet here which is Filtro de Agua and it looks like two tap filters um, in grotty packaging um, also there was no sort of safety packaging in there and the guitars damaged you've got uh, there's chunks where the woods come and been chipped on the uh, on the horns of the V, there's a, a big chip on the headstock. <laughs> there's no amplifier in there. Um, no, amplifier no, there no, there isn't. I've I've done. I've made a video unboxing it so I can prove all of this that it isn't me that's you know doing this. Um, so I've got everything from how the box looked to me actually physically opening the box and. You yeah. seeing, you know, all in one take, so you can see exactly on the video that I haven't done anything to this. This is how it's come, it's just turned up. And like I say, there's no amp, no accessories, apart from two tap filters, which, how, why they're in there, I don't know. And the guitar is all chipped and damaged. I haven't even plugged it in. Yeah, well, this is this is the third one that I've had. Right, well, yeah, that's um, that's that's unbelievable to get one that's kind of that turns up in, and it's like in less than you know less than great condition is is one thing, but to have to have you know three of them, yeah, pretty pretty awful. Um, was it the same stage? Was it the same career service? No, the, the, the first one was Yodel, and this last two times have been um, UPS, and um, 
you know, y- Yodel were Yodel were fine. I mean, the the whole thing came. It was just the actual guitar itself had issues, and then yeah. the second one that I had, that guitar had issues, especially with the um, the bridge, the Floyd Rose bridge, yeah. and this one yeah. has come. Now the guitar itself looks okay, apart from bits where there's been no packaging in it and it's taken a hit along the way but yeah. there's no accessories with it this time right that's, that's unbelievable so they're just not they're not included the uh, accessories let me just see what's been it shouldn't have just been a like black swap should it down with the order well yeah, yeah i mean like, like, like I say, um, no accessories whatsoever. I mean, if I could get the accessories and get a partial refund, then I'd be happy to keep it. But there's no way I'd yeah. be paying £140 out for a damaged, you know, guitar. Yeah, um, yeah. yes. No, no, I, I, you know, it sounds like it's just um, you know, it, it's from the free orders that have turned up um, in such a bad way it's um, that's horrendous I don't blame you just wanted a refund at this stage yeah um, but yeah I'll, I'll get that arranged so uh, the upshot they... is this I'm sending it back and I'm getting a full refund they weren't open to the idea of maybe giving me a partial refund and sending me out the other parts that way I could still do a review and maybe try and make something positive out of how the guitar actually played but obviously they did not want to do that what I would like to do right now though is show you guys the advert for this guitar and then I'm going to show you my version of that advert giving you exactly what should have been said to you in their advert So these guitars come from a Netherlands based company called Tronios. Now apparently they are also called Maxi Music. That is their big store over there. Now they also have a lot to do with the Vonix brand. So if you have things like Vonix speakers or things like that, yeah okay, those, I'm not going to say anything bad about Vonix because the Vonix products I've tried have been ticked up. But I mean, you know, if, if you want 
a Flying V guitar cheaper than this. Go onto the Bax Music website, check out the Fazly Flying V. I had one and it was the cheapest, but it was also one of the best Flying V guitars I have played at the moment. So go and check that out. Do not buy anything from this company called Electro Market, trading as Destiny Entertainment or anything branded Max Music or Maxi Music. Steer clear, you're going to get ripped off. And one thing I don't want people to do is to get ripped off. I'm angry about this. Sorry guys for that little outburst. I'm calm now. <laughs> Just don't buy anything from those companies. Believe me, you'll get ripped off. If you have enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here, why not subscribe? You might enjoy it. We've got plenty of gear coming from some reputable companies coming to the channel very, very soon. Now, I'm not doing my usual live stream this Sunday because I am away. Yes, I'm taking you with me to Scarborough Punk Festival. So that will be coming up in a future video as well. But I will be back on Thursday with a new video and it is the start of our partnership with Sonic Ape. So make sure you get tuned in for that. Hit that notification bell so you know when the video drops. I would like to thank our budget backers, of course, who are right here as usual. And if you would like to join them, click that join button down below. Thank you for all the support. Thank you for watching. Stay safe, stay sane, keep rocking, and oi oi guys.